Nacho Average Tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome to Nacho Average Tabletop. I'm Zach, and today I'm going to be unboxing Clank Catacombs from Dire Wolf. So, I really love the look of this box cover. <laughs> I'm just going to start off with that. Uh, it's, I don't know, there's something about it that I just really like. I like the colors that they use. Uh, just a really, really solid looking box cover, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so I've played the original Clank like once or twice, I think. And then we played through Clank Legacy Acquisition Incorporated. And that was just an amazing experience. And it kind of ruins like base Clank for me. Um, which is kind of disappointing because it is such a solid game. But I'm hopeful that this will kind of fix that a little bit because uh, instead of having kind of the board already kind of predetermined and set up, this one actually you're kind of building the board as the game's going along. So we'll see how it ends up going, but uh, I'm excited for it. Although when I first heard that there's going to be new Clank content, I was actually really, really hoping that it was going to be another Legacy campaign, but I know I'm guessing that takes a lot of work to put together because that one that was really really solid so right off the bat we've got a rule book here it looks like it's about 15 pages um, the words are pretty large and it looks like there's a few examples here so i think it should be easy enough to get through and i'm guessing a lot of it is probably similar rules to clank it's just you know obviously obviously there are going to be some differences but I think the core of it still has a lot of the clank DNA in it. And then we've got the token reference guide. This kind of explains what each of them does. So that'll be pretty useful. And it looks like all the all the boards and all that stuff is all packaged into this. So first off we've got the the board here where um, track your your health bars and then also how much um, you're gonna be pulling from the the baggie the I think it's still I think it's a dragon in this one uh, looks like more of an undead dragon though but yeah this is very shiny as you can see uh, and then we've got um, some different I think some of the different rooms here that you'll be putting out on the board I couldn't remember if there are cards or, or cardboard so uh, it does look like they are cardboard, so that'll be pretty nice. And the artwork's pretty solid in here for the different um, thing token things you can get. Uh, you got some more rooms here. You'll be placing them out, and then kind of depending on what they reveal, you'll be putting tokens out on those places. Uh, and I'm now I'm really hopeful that they can use this kind of concept maybe to uh, make a new legacy game. <laughs> Maybe I'm just asking for too much, uh, but I think that's very well regarded. So, I mean, if they're up for it, uh, I will buy it instantly if they do make it. Uh, because uh, that was one of the greatest gaming experiences as a whole that I've had. So, I would highly recommend that. That's obviously not talking about this game, but I'm sure this one will be great as well. Uh, I'm very hopeful. Yeah, we'll probably, we'll likely be giving our first impressions along, this. that'll come out alongside this video, so you can check that out to see if we think that that lives up to the, the Clank Gaming. Uh, it looks like we've got some more tokens here. Some pretty solid artwork. Ooh, then we've got the baggie. That's actually really soft. And my hand fits in there. Sometimes baggies are a little too small. I do like the feel of this bag. It's really nice. Uh, then we've got a bigger plastic bag. And then we, I think we've got the different player colors. So we've got yellow. And your little guy that's going to be going across the map. Uh, in uh, Clank Legacy, there's miniatures, but I know in the original Clank it's wooden guys as well that you're moving across, which is totally fine by me as well. I always like, always like meeples. And I believe these are going to be cubes that are put in the dragon bag uh, to just kind of some, the black ones kind of are dodges. Luckily the dragon doesn't attack anyone in particular, 
but the white ones, at least in the past, have been everyone takes a damage and those go back in the bag. So those everyone hates to see. <laughs> you always like to see it when it's other players colors uh, or blacks, but uh, when it's the whites, it's kind of just sucky for everyone. So you're all joining in the pain together. Uh, so it looks like you got a, a nice darker blue. Looks like they've got some solid choices for colors here. You got the yellow, the darker blue, you got red. I can't remember. I think they're all the same shape. The meeples. I guess I don't remember now. And then last but not least, we've got green. I think so. They are different because uh, that was definitely a warrior and this is a, a mage it looks like. So that's cool. That's cool that I guess I don't remember if the original, it's been a long time since I played the original, if all the character or all the meeples were the same or if they were slightly different like that as well. We've got the dreaded dragon. That's a really cool color dragon. I like that they used like a kind of a minty color and actually actually works really well <laughs> for a dragon. I don't know why. I, I really like that look to it. Maybe it's maybe it's because that box cover and all the colors together just work really well. Then we've got the cards. So if you've never played the game before, it is a deck building game. So you kind of start with a uh, deck of cards, like ten cards, I think it is, and then throughout the game, you're uh, well. These are the some of the monsters you'll be possibly beating. So these you won't add to your deck, I don't think, unless they change the mechanism. But uh, once we get to some of the other cards, you can purchase some additional cards to add to your deck to do different things like use. You can get rid of two clank potentially, uh, take a major secret. So that's kind of some of those tokens. Um, but you'll be drawing up a few cards from your own personal deck and then you will you know, be using those to kind of, so these symbols, you can like buy additional cards with those blue symbols. You can uh, fight some of the red monsters with the sword symbols and then you can actually move around the board with the yellow foot symbols. So you're trying to get kind of build your deck up with as good a card as you can um, to be able to kind of just continue moving around and buying more cards and defeating more monsters, picking up those tokens. I really like the artwork that they use for Clank. It's a really really cool look to it just in general. And I think the, so some of them you can see have this dragon symbol. That'll activate that one board. Um, and depending on where the dragon rage is, then you'll pull them out. You'll pull those little cube tokens out of the bag. And you'll be hoping that they're not yours. Because uh, otherwise you'll take, take some damage. Because you're making too much noise going around looking for the dragon's loot. I'm trying to get this pack of cards open. I'm struggling. There we go. Oh boy. Soul Drinker. That looks pretty powerful there. If you defeat a monster in the dungeon row this turn, you, oh, you even gain health. Wow. You're drinking its soul. <laughs> that's, pretty, that's a pretty awesome card. Uh, but it's also pretty spendy. I think that's how much it would cost in those blue cost six of them and then there's just the I think mercenaries you can kind of just buy at any time same with explorers uh, secret, secret tomes you can buy at any time yeah and then these are kind of some of your base starting cards but no I'm I am definitely excited to get this one to the table this is one that I've been looking forward to for a while uh, so yeah, I think that's everything inside the Clink Catacombs box. Uh, let me know below what your favorite style of Clink is. I know there's also Clink in Space. I've never played that one. Uh, let me know if you've played that one and if it's worth trying out. It seems like I haven't heard as much love for that one in comparison to the other ones. So yeah, definitely let me know if that is not the case for you. And then I may have to check it out. But otherwise, I hope to see you on our first impression video of this or another video in general. But otherwise, see you on the next one, and don't forget to keep on nibbling on our content.